So it's now early March and we're fishing the Skyway today. It usually gets the first sign of pelagic fish moving through the area. It kind of kicks everything off for the year. And coming to the Skyway and capitalizing on this migration of fish is one of my favorite things to do. This video is very fish intensive. It was a great day. First time this year I am out at the Skyway and we are looking for mackerel boys you know the deal hopefully we're gonna get into a mac attack here the weather's been so beautiful lately so it's just been catching my attention lately let's see how we do guys getting hit on just about every single cast multiple times about 30 yards out but I'm not hooking anything but I'm getting hit every time come on where's the mackerel at There's a fish. There's a better one. No, nope, another blue runner. No, it's a mackerel, guys. Spanish mackerel. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about, boys. Now, that guy's not a keeper, guys. But that is our first uh, Skyway Spanish mackerel for the year, boys. Heck yeah. Thank you, buddy. See you later. So I did, uh, I was out off the North, man, I really like the South Skyway a lot better than the North Skyway. I'm not saying the, the North Skyway is bad, but I do way better at the, the South. I was at the North for about an hour and I didn't even get a hit. And I come here and I get multiple hits. There's a hit. There's a hit. There's another fish. Another mackerel. No, nope, that's a blue. No, it's a mackerel. Another tiny mackerel, boys. The cute guys. Alright, buddy. Go get your big friend. Your big compadres. That would be like perfect kingfish bait the size of those Spanish max. What's that? I can't hear you. Nice. Whoa, what's your question, brother? Is that a papa house? Yes, sir. That's a keeper, isn't it? It's got to be 11 inches. It looks like a keeper to me. There's another fish, boys. I think it's a blue. No, it's another tiny Spanish. Another tiny Spanish. How about that? All right, buddy. Chill, chill, chill. Thanks, man. See ya. They're all uh, undersized Spanish, guys. There's another one. Oh my god. This is no crap. This is good. This is good. Liking it. Hell yeah. There's another hit. The hit on every single cast. The small ones. Boy, they're in good numbers. There's another fish. Jesus, this is a hit on every single cast. Multiple hits on every cast. This is nice. I li I'm liking this. There's another fish on, boys. There's another mackerel. <laughs> Tiny max. Buddy. See ya. Oh, fish off. That was a mackerel. There, there's hits. There's hits. I see him hitting it. There's a fish. Mackerel on, baby. So we pretty much started the day jumping right into the fish. 
all these catch and release mackerels. There must have been a lot of little mackerels uh, going through the area and these guys were hungry. It didn't matter. Everybody was getting these little mackerels. It was like a plague of tiny mackerels hitting jigs, spoons. It didn't really matter what we threw. Uh, it was everybody getting them too. So they are going to get bigger as the day moves forward. But I'm not going to show all the little mackerels I caught because the footage would just be way too repetitive. Look at how beautiful Spanish mackerel are, guys. That's one of my favorite fish. These guys are a bunch of shorts and stuff. I'm having so much fun catching these. We're going to move down from to the other guy to the other side, guys, because. These boys here are small and seeing action down there that could potentially be really good. They're getting pompano back there. Yeah, I got a lot here. How big were those? There were like 13, they looked like 13 inches. I got a ton of mackerel, small ones though. Okay. Those two guys got some, they were about 13 inches. How are you, brother? Because I haven't been fishing for them. I've been getting a lot of small mackerel. The bonitas will definitely be here. I don't, they'll probably be at the end. Dude, it's 10, 10 30. There's a fish, yeah. Small Spanish. Yeah, they're here. I'm not thinking. Yeah, these guys, they're all about this size. Oh no, the they're one really, really the one small. I kept is huge. Really? Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go for Pampano, then we can come back to it. Hey. Okay, we, we come back here again. Let's go and try to get the thing across. You gotta be kidding me, man. My lower, my eye just got wrapped around my thing and. You lost this? Yeah. It got wrapped, tip wrapped. Yeah. Okay. If you don't catch the, the pompano, you get some Spanish. Oh, yeah. fish and a mackerel. So I ended up changing the spoon over to a banana jig just to have the opportunity to catch something different. Mackerel also do hit the banana jigs too. So we still don't lose that opportunity. Personally, I think the banana jigs were kind of annoying because I kept getting tip wrapped with the wind blowing towards me and I was getting cut off by the mackerel a lot. But it did allow me to get a couple extra species this day. That's different. I think so. Yeah, I got a pompano. He got a little too close to it. I, I probably left it on because I was going to go, I was going to go, uh, check at the very front for Benita soon. Yeah, uh, we're going to do that later, but if you want to go and check, go and check so we can go there. I might have to, I'll do I'll that. I'll... You know, like, like, you know, probably a ladyfish. It feels like, oh no, mackerel, it cut me off. Yeah, it must have been a mac. Yeah, definitely a mackerel. Yeah, big mackerel. Come on! It took my whole entire. Come on! It took my whole rig. Ugh! Got to retie again. All right, guys. So the bite has been really good today. I mean, everybody's catching fish. I spent a lot of the last few minutes, uh, like the last hour, just rigging up and getting wood knots and stuff, but. Pompano, ladyfish, mackerel, everybody's getting fish. All smaller stuff, but it's very encouraging to see the bite that's going on here. And it doesn't seem to be slowing down at all, guys. So now I'm just running around up and down in the pier with my truck, and I'm actually looking for a little bit fish with a little bit better size. So we'll see what happens here soon.
and as I was saying, a much better size mackerel. <laughs> There we go guys, that is right there. It's definitely a keeper mac. We will take that guy home for lunch. Hello. So guys, when you see a crap ton of people crowded up in a corner like that, that is a good sign that there is people catching fish, especially when they're making noise and stuff. We are here at the Skyway. I got a couple mackerel, I got a couple more in the truck. And uh, it has been a crazy day out here. Bush. We have gotten mackerel, bonita, pompano, lake Crazy fish. action, crazy action. It has been probably the best day for me of the year so far. Um, it's just been a crazy day. This spring is absolutely beautiful. And uh, the man behind the camera right now is my man, Bush. You guys know him. He needs I'm, no... I'm always cameraman today, guys. <laughs> he killed it today on Spanish. He needs no introduction, guys. But, uh... So, yeah, it's been it's been pretty good out here, guys. Fish on. It's a good size mackerel. Yes, sir. Put this guy right there. Dude, that was sick. There was like literally six of them. Man, I saw that one, man. How did I not hook up? How did I not hook up on that? That was crazy. Dude, there was like six of them. There we go, there's a fish. That's a smaller mackerel, but he's a keeper still. Dude, this is one of the best days of this is probably the best day of the year I've seen. How eh? What's that? It's small too. Yeah, it's kind of no, no, small. Is it a keeper size? No, that's I mean if he's live, if he's dead already. Guys, well uh I didn't have the camera running, but I had like six Benita literally chase my uh spoon in. It was freaking crazy. It was sick. This is one of the best days I've seen all year. So I've been trying to catch these bonitas now for about an hour and a half. And I came so close that six of them actually came right up to my spoon and crashed it. And somehow they didn't get hooked. And worse yet, it seems like everybody has at least gotten a couple except me. Now I did want to get a bonita for this video, but it just wasn't happening. To make things worse, I get pretty allergic to large crowds and small spaces. And the Skyway is an absolutely huge pier. In my opinion, if you work your way down it, you can usually find your own pot of fish. It would be a lot more fun, more relaxed, because there won't be so many people around you. You might even make a good friend along the way. So we're getting into the late afternoon now, and this is where the fun really began. Oh my god, is that a kingfish or a spanish? Holy crap! This macro is humongous! Guys, so I just hooked onto a Spanish mackerel down here, and this boy was so big that I needed help bringing him up with the net. 
it was that big. Definitely, uh, that might probably be my best Spanish mackerel of the year. Probably, that, that might be the best Spanish mackerel of the year. That, that boy was so big. The thing is with kingfish is they have a, have you caught kingfish yeah. before? Yeah, they have a sharper dip and then this thing on the kingfish isn't black. It's, isn't black, it's yeah. clear. It's clear, yeah. So. Yeah, some of them have a line too. Yeah, that's a fish, man. Look at that. It's a regular yeah. mackerel. Oh my God. Nice. Holy, Holy crap, it's a tarpon. That was a tarpon. Holy crap. Did he come after your ladyfish? Ladyfish. He was after your ladyfish. Oh, that's sick. So we just saw this huge tarpon come up and pop his ladyfish. And I could not help myself when I saw this. So I had a pretty dumb idea. It didn't work. But I thought it was pretty funny. So I'm going to show it in this video. Oh, dude, you should keep them and use them. Keep it, keep it. Oh, yeah. Let's. Oh, I'm so. Oh. That thing was huge. That thing was massive. Yeah, I might. He he was after that ladyfish. Yep. Dude, this is insane. Oh, I might actually hook him up to try to go for a tarpon. Huh? I don't use a weight. Are you using that? Let me. I'm gonna do something really stupid right now. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do this. Hold on. I'm gonna see if this. Cause I can't actually bring a tarpon in like this. Yeah, man, that tarpon was like my car, man. I want to see if he'll come back for it. That thing was huge. You wait. You mind if I go straight down? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I just want to see if he'll come back for it. He's under the bridge, though. I want to see if he'll come back for it. That would be so sick if he man, hits that us. Was that yeah, that was sick. Come on, Tarpon. He was eating the macros too. He was? Yeah. Man, Come I've on, seen, Tarpon. I've never seen a Tarpon so big like that. That was sick. He was actually after the ladyfish. Still come back for it. Nah. I'm going to throw him back. Do you want him? No, that's what I Oh, that's sardine? That's why they all the fish are here. Fish on, boys. Yep. I hope that tarpon comes up and hits them. That would be awesome. That's a nice one. That's a good one. Let's see if we can get them up. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. Dude, this is the most fun fish to catch. People come out. Fish on! Fish off! <laughs> yeah, it fell off. What an amazing day! And the Benitas there catching down at the corner? Yeah. Every, but the only thing is, is you gotta pack in with a lot of people, so... There you go! Hell yeah. There you go. Everybody is getting Spanish mackerel, guys. Look at that. This has been an absolutely incredible day. Beautiful fish. There you go. Yeah. It's a good one, too. It's a good one, guys. Yeah. You'll be hitting your max soon. Fish on. Fish on, boys. Got another mackerel. There we go.
go. go. Put that boy right there. We're keeping these boys this time, guys. They're just right along the bridge. Right here. Watch this. They're right underneath the bridge. All right, guys, I just had some mackerel. Follow my, there's a fish on. There's another one. It's a small guy though. Look at that, boys. There we go, fish on. <laughs> oh yeah, that one's a keeper. Yeah, the ones we were catching this morning were uh, small. Yeah. They got much nicer. <laughs> oh, boys. Another Mac attack. Another good one. Let's see if he falls off. Yeah, we made it. All right, buddy. Ouch. Put you right here for now. All right. He's on now. Uh, no, he was on. No, he wasn't. What a day, guys. Oh, yeah, look, he's on. A ladyfish. Oh, yeah, they hit right in front of me, boys. <laughs> Everybody's looking up, guys. This is awesome. This is what it's all about. Oh, my bad, man. Don't worry about it. It's that wind. You're good. That is sick, watching them bust on it like that. I wonder how the bobber and the the bobber and the spoon would do. Do you ever toss a bobber and spoon? Oh, yeah, yeah. I wonder how that would do right now. I'm having better luck with the weight of the spoon. The weight is tight, but right now it's working. Nice mackerel, bro. Guys, we're getting them on, like, I'm using spoons, he's using live things. Um, like, it's not just that, but, like, that's a hard one. It's the same as this 
mackerel madness, guys, at its finest. Guys, I cannot even begin to describe how much fun I am having and how much fun this is. This is absolutely amazing. I feel like the spoon kind of burned itself out a little bit. So one of the questions I get asked most often when I'm doing these videos is how do I know the fish are going to be there? Well, you really don't. They do tend to be there during the early spring and early fall. Another thing you can do is join a social media group like a Facebook, uh, Skyway Anglers, something like that. People will post their catches. If you are subscribed to my channel, I encourage you to hit the notifications bell as I'll be releasing a lot more videos like this. And you'll be notified when I release them weekly. So, see you guys. Dude, check this out. Check this out. Oh look my at, God, man, look, look at, at that fish. Look at all these mackerel, right? <laughs> look at this, look at this, right? And these are, I would say they're good sized mackerel, right? Oh my God. Yeah, look at this. These are good sized mackerel. These are yeah. very good sized mackerel. And <laughs> look at this one. <laughs> oh my God. But, this one definitely was the papa. That's a beast. Yeah. That's a beast. That's a beast. Man. Yeah. That's a record, man. Yeah. Uh, I that's didn't it. measure him. That's it. But he's at yeah. He's I would say he's oh a good God. 23. You know 22. 23. <laughs> 27, bro. He's, he's 27 and the fork, 24. 24 to the fork? Yeah. Yeah, that is a big mackerel. That's a huge mackerel. Man, look at this. Yeah, let me get a photo of that boy. Oh my God, just leave it like that so people can see it, man. Hold one of these bad boys look up. This, <laughs> look at that fish, man. Nice mackerel, bro, that's a, a beast. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Yeah. Hey, we just market today, man. That was a fun day. Dude, this was an incredible day.